Good day, y'all. Welcome back to another episode or a new series that we're starting today. Today we'll be talking about and starting our first home lab series. So I'll provide a quick image we'll be covering today and we'll be expanding on it as the future and the journey goes on. So from the top left, we've got our physical servers, which in this instance is a super micro. I can show you the specs later on, uh, throw in the comments. Um, so our hypervisor is a Proxmox OS version 8 and what we'll be doing is utilizing a Ubuntu distribution to be a application server and we'll be installing Docker and Docker Compose onto it. Next what we'll do is on our Docker Compose which, is, which will be our initially um, containerized we'll be installing Plotina which will uh, give us the ability to manage docker and docker compose in a good interface and as the build goes on we'll be expanding from there so the first thing we're going to do is download our Ubuntu 20.04 server leave the link in the description and what we'll do is go to our Proxmox, create VM, give it an ID, give it a name. Specify where we set the ISO. For the disk size, give a sufficient amount for your expansion. Let's give it four cores. Let's give it eight gigabytes of memory and native networking. Verify it's all correct and click finish. Next what I'll do is start the configuration. With the configuration, we're going to right click start and then we're going to go to the console. It's going to check the integrity. This might take some time. Okay, so let's select our language and press enter. We are going to continue with our updating it. The layout will be US. And let's move that up arrow until we get to our network adapter. Select enter. Click Hypervision 4, enter. And change it from automatic DHCP to manual static. The subnet mask will represent the host portions, followed by your subnet mask. Let's give it a IP address within that range. You can ping it to ensure it is available, and let's give it a gateway name server and domain server. In this case, it will be our router or modem. Click tab and save. It's going to check your settings and if there's no issues, you can click on done. Proxy server can be default. Mirror server default. And we're going to use the entire disk verify it is correct and press enter on done confirm it's going to format and let's go through giving our username passwords
when you're all happy, press tab and enter. Let's press space to install our SSH server and press down, down and enter. Next we'll press tab and install none of those. This will go through the installation system. This will take several minutes depending on your hardware and software. Next, we're just going to let it install all the updates and reboot. All right, let's click tab, tab and reboot. Next, we'll go to hardware, find the disk and remove it. And let's give it a restart. Alright, let's confirm we can log in. And the initial install is complete. Alright, now that it's installed, let's do our initial update and upgrade. So we want to type in sudo apt tech get update and press enter. This will go through and it's pretty quick and let's do an upgrade. And press yes to install. And we're done. This is the initial configuration of our Ubuntu server. Alright, so next we'll go through installing Docker and Docker Compose using the official repository. So what we can do is SSH using party or a various um, software into your server we just built, being our app server one. And what we're gonna do is First, we're going to be installing the prerequisite packages, which will be this line here. I will leave all the uh, command lines in the description below and provide our password. So that's finished. Next, we'll be adding the GPT key Next will be the docker uh, repository uh, If there is a different version you want to install you just need to change the stable portion And next we'll be doing the um, the package manager for Docker policies. So that's what's been installed. And finally we are installing Docker instance itself.
So now it's been installed. Let's confirm and verify that our Docker is currently running. Oops. As we can see, the active is set to running. So this is a install for Docker. Next we'll be going through and installing Docker Compose. So now that Docker Compose will be getting installed, the first line will be the curl, which will be downloading and installing it for, for us. And next we'll be setting permissions. And finally, let's verify the status of it. All right. So let's go through and configure the final step of this uh, initial video. We'll be installing Platana to allow us to use a GUID interface to control our Docker instances or, or our containers. So the first thing we'll do is create a volume. And next what we'll be doing is running the executable of the initial uh, container so what we're doing is uh, using docker exposing port, port 9000 calling a container make sure that it restarts if it's down we're specifying um, the socks and we are specifying where the data is getting mapped to So we know it's not local for the first install, so it's going to download it for us. This will take X amount of time, depending on your system specifications. Let's verify it is installed. It is started. So now what we'll do is go to our IP of the server put in the double semicolon and let's give it port 9000 as we specified in the install. So the initial configuration, it's going to be asking for a password. Let's give it a password and confirm it and click create. To verify what containers we've got installed, we'll click on home. This is our local instance, containers, and we've got our first Docker, which is Portana, what we're currently in, to uh, have a good interface instead of command line. So that is all for our first episode of the series. Join us next week when we install our first container let me know what you want to see in this project and share what you are running at home see you next time